What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here. I want to give you guys a little bit of gaming news today and uh, keep you up to date to what's going on in the gaming world. Uh, some news for the PS4. Minecraft PS4 has actually failed the Sony certification. Uh, before games are actually given the green light to be sold on platforms, they have to be tested and uh, certified by these major companies and somehow Minecraft did not <laughs> past this certification. I know a lot of people are waiting for Minecraft on PS4. The game is pretty much the same as before. I don't know exactly how it's going to be optimized for the new uh, the new gen consoles, but it's going to be pretty much the same game. Uh, this article is on GameSpot.com and it reads, Issues discovered during final testing period means FJ Studios will need to fix them and resubmit them. Um, the PlayStation 4 version of Minecraft failed Sony's certification test and as a result, de developer 4J Studios will need to take some extra time to fix bugs and submit the game all over again. The studio announced this news on Twitter today. Sony found some issues we have to fix in their final test for Minecraft PS4. FJ Studios said with a sad face attached. We're fixing, but we need to go through the process again. FJ Studios submitted the PS4 version of Minecraft to Sony for certification on August 12th. The game is expected to launch next month, though the need to resubmit would appear to put the release date in question. A PlayStation Vita version of Minecraft is also in development and is scheduled to launch this month. That version is undergoing bug testing right now, 4J says. As for the Xbox One version of Minecraft, it too is projected to launch in August, with 4J Studios now spending time fixing bugs before sending the game off to Microsoft for final certification. If you already, already own the Xbox 360 or PS3 version of Minecraft, you can get the game on the Xbox One or PS4 for $5, and your save will carry forward. When it releases, the PS Vita version of Minecraft will be available as a cross-buy game with the PlayStation 3 iteration. Minecraft, I've never played it. I've never played it. Uh, I know a lot of people who do. I know a lot of adults who've spent hundreds of hours on Minecraft mining and making things. I just don't understand it. And, and it's one of those situations where you feel like you missed the bus or you're late to the party. You walk in the door and everybody else is already done having fun and you wonder what they did. I don't, when I first saw Minecraft, I said no. Uh, that was my initial thought process because of the aesthetic of the game, the way it looks. It didn't impress me. And so I was like, no, I'm not going to play this. You know, if I wanted to play this, I would have played it back when I was a kid. Graphically, it's not, you know, on the level that I want to uh, pursue as a gamer. But there's so much in, in the game, obviously, that I, I did not perceive before. And so that's a question I want to ask you guys. I always depend on my, my subscribers, my friends out there to let me know. Is Minecraft worth me playing? Do you think it'll be something that I, I, I'd have free playability? Uh, or a game that I could dig into for a long time. I'm heavily considering getting Diablo 3, uh, the Ultimate Evil Reaper Dead. I don't know the, the damn edition that came out for PS4, but uh, I do like games like that, loot games. I know Minecraft is, is a game where you do a lot of making things, making stages, making levels, making worlds. And uh, it appears a lot of people have a lot of fun with it, so that's a question I'll ask you guys. Uh, should I pick up Minecraft for the PlayStation 4? Um, and uh, if you guys told me I should, I'll probably go ahead and get it. On to other gaming news. It appears that we got another leak, guys. Uh, I know you guys love video game leaks. They just happen so randomly. And you would never expect a company that has millions of dollars to allow a leak to happen. But somehow it happens every time. Capcom has uh, leaked images of their new Resident Evil game. And I'm not talking about Resident Evil the remake of the remake. I'm not talking about the GameCube remake. I'm talking about Resident Evil Revelations 2. Uh, Resident Evil Revelations was a great game. It was like the reason I bought my 3DS. And uh, it, it, it shined on the P PS3 and the Xbox 360 and PC as well. Uh, but uh, they have leaked images of uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2. And this article is on IGN. It reads, Resident Evil Revelations 2 is reportedly on the way, with a leaked box art and screenshot revealing the sequel. French website, Gamer in a Box, noticed that Xbox.com hosted two media images for Resident Evil Revelations 2, pulling back the curtain on the survival horror game. IGN reaches out, reached out to Capcom about the leak, inquiring about what platforms the sequel will be planned for. Um, the game looks great. 
and this uh, image is actually of the real game. It looks fantastic. Uh, it doesn't look like the PS3 or the 360 could do it. I mean, it looks like it, it would have to be dumbed down for those systems for sure. But these leaks, man, you trip me out with these leaks. These things are planned propaganda. You know what game you're making. You know that it's far enough in development for people to see and get excited about. But the thing is, Capcom has screwed up so much making these Resident Evil games over the last few years that the hype train for Resident Evil has pretty much stopped. Unless you go right back to the drawing board, what made Resident Evil, you know, what made it unique, scary, and exciting. Uh, you know, I don't see people being super stoked about this because Resident Evil 6, let's be honest, it was a terrible game. I didn't like it. I haven't. And uh, I played through Leon's campaign, I played through Chris's campaign, and I didn't even play through Wesker's son's campaign because it just, it lost that luster for me. Um, it, it felt like I was playing a third person Call of Duty after a while, running around punching people and shooting enemies, and that's not what Resident Evil was about. To me, Resident Evil in its heyday was Resident Evil 2, um, Resident Evil 1, and of course when it made the 3D jump, Resident Evil 4. That captured for me what Resident Evil encom encompassed. It was, you know, survival horror, it was very, uh, you know, foreboding in environment, atmosphere. It was lack of ammunition and, and, you know, trying to figure things out. And then they tried to go the way of Call of Duty because Call of Duty is such a big game. And I think they failed miserably. But um, you guys let me know what you think about this. Uh, this Resident Evil Revelations 2 leak. I think Resident Evil Revelations is a great game, honestly. If they can keep this game in a similar vein to Re Revelations 2, it might be a hit. You guys let me know what you think about this news. Minecraft fails uh, the cert certification by Sony. And uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2 leaked. I'm the Beastly Gamer. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage. And I'll see you guys next time.